Siamo Jaga 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 This one is Jaga Jaga That's what we call it Oh hey Biafra Oh hey Biafra Join me to destroy the zoo I want to destroy the zoo document The disgraceful document of the zoo Nigeria, Jaga Jaga. You see, I'm. This Nazo passport. Invite people, invite them, invite them. Let's come and destroy the zoo. Everything that has to do with the zoo. <laughs> Hello, fellow Bia friends. I greet every one of you, people of goodwill, lovers of freedom. It's good morning from here. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Good evening. And some, for some people, it's good night. So I come to you with a good topic today. Destroying my Nigeria passport. Look at it. Mm? This is the Nigeria new passport. I'm going to discuss, to tell you people how I made it. The procedures I went through before they gave this this stupid paper to me the procedures this stupid paper this rubbish paper a paper that will give you a, a disgrace that will make you feel humiliated huh? so i'm going to talk about how i got it and i'm going to talk about the kogi state and bayasa state's election the reason the reason why i am destroying this passport is because of the last government governor and um, um i mean the governor's uh, election that took place in kogi state and bayasa state i have been thinking of how to destroy it for long but no time but today i said i must come out to destroy it i get i became more motivated when i when i saw videos of people shots people that were killed in bayasa states just for for someone to become a governor i am going to destroy it this is the zoo this is fulani this is alama jerry this is the passport of a of the terrorists this passport when you hold it they see you as a terrorist I know it's a working time, people are in the office, but make sure you share this video. Let this video go viral. People are, people are in their offices, they cannot come to the brokers, but this is the only time that I have to do it today. In the evening, I cannot do it. I would have preferred to do this video in the evening, but no. Because of my tight schedule, I decided to make it this morning. I will continue to play this music because... The reason why I'm playing this music is because it's really the best music for this, my broadcast. So, oh, hey, Biafra. Biafra has come to stay. Biafra has come to stay. Anything that is coming to, to come and prevent Biafra from coming, anything that is coming as a kind of distraction to come and prevent Biafra will be destroyed. That, this, this will be destroyed because the zoo is trying to, to uh, subdue our freedom. You cannot subdue our freedom. For those of you who are Christians, you know very well that Jesus Christ said he came to set the, the, the people who are oppressed. He came to set them free. So Biafras are oppressed. The zoo is oppressing us. So the zoo is oppressing us. Just like the Egyptians. We are oppressing the Israelites before. The same thing Biafras are going through today. So I don't want this music. I want the other one. Why is it giving me this truck? I don't want. I want the Jaga Jaga music also, because that is exactly what the country is. The country is completely Jaga Jaga. So Idris, Idris is very right to to sing this song. He made a lot of sense. Eh? Even if the Zo government they were not happy with him, but he made he made a lot of sense. So the the Egyptians were they were. 
they were under captivity. The way Biafrans are today, it seems we are under captivity. But we are going to set ourselves free. And we thank God that he gave us a leader who is very intelligent, who knows how to plan things properly, without being violent, without me making problems. You know, we, we just have to thank God, keep thanking God for Mazil Nandikanu. I want to thank you this morning for the, for the wisdom that you are applying in the restoration of this, uh, our, our, our wonderful country called Biafra. I thank you and your family for all the sacrifices you have been making. I thank you because you know exactly what, how to handle the zoo. You know, you understand the zoo better than any other person. So we thank God for giving you to us, standing up to, to, to make sure you do everything, everything humanly possible to make sure Biafra is being restored. Thank you very much, Ohamadike. Olorogu, I thank you. The Olorogu of Biafra, thank you very much. May God bless you and your family. Mazu Shemefo, I thank you for, for always being there with him, for assisting him in everything that he is doing. God will bless you. Mazi George Onyibe, all staffs of IPOB, every workers of IPOB all over the world, everyone is working tirelessly. Thanks to every one of you. So, I want to go I want to go back to this my topic destroying the zoo passport look at it this is the new passport too. this is this is my face this passport I made it um, I made it when I was when I was in in uh, Nigeria when I traveled to Nigeria 2016 so this passport I did it in a corrupt way I got it through the corrupt method as usual you know everything about the zoo is corrupt everything about nigeria is corrupt i did it that way and i'm regretting it today i have two passports the other one i got it without uh, paying extra money without bribing someone to to to, to do my before it, it, it do for the other person so my passport my eu passport everything was done legally and at, at, accordingly as it's supposed to be done in any civilized country, in any country where egality, fraternity uh, is, is being uh, uh, observed. In Nigeria, things like that are not observed. It is a dream, nothing like democracy. They are just deceiving us with democracy. So these passports, I'm going to tear it. I am going to tear these, they are useless biometric passports. Anywhere you go with this passport, once you maybe you are, when, when you come you haven't this passport in your hands is in your bag immediately you bring out this passport they will start looking at you as maybe sister of the jihadis if you are a man they will start suspecting you maybe you are a jihadist or do you want to blow up the train the flight or do you want to blow up the flight they will be wondering what is this what is this person holding in his hands if you are if you are watching me this right now and you care so much for one nigeria I beg you to leave my show because you'll be upset with what I'm going to do. Your Nigeria, you are claiming that you, you have won Nigeria. Nigeria must continue to, 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 to reign. Nigeria must continue to, to be sustained. Nigeria does not belong to you. You are saying that Biafra is ego thing. I, I am asking you today, if you know you are very fair in your judgment, is Nigeria your thing if you are an edo if you are nishekiri if you are delta if you are river state aqua bomb nigeria is it yours is nigeria yours if you are claiming that biafra is for the egos is nigeria for you answer me today if nigeria is for you how can you prove it to me that nigeria is for you how have you been able to rule nigeria as an robo have you been able to rule Nigeria as an Ishakiri? Have you been able to rule Nigeria as an Edo state? And you say Nigeria is for you. Nigeria is not for you. Nigeria belongs to the Fulani. Biafra is for us, all of us, from this coastal region, from the south, old eastern region. That is where we rightfully belong. We should forget about what the Fulanis have said because they are so jealous. The Fulanis are so jealous. And let me tell you one thing. If the Fulanis think they can, if they are not, if they are not subduing you as an robo, 
if they are not subduing you as an Ishekiri, it's because they, they don't see you as a threat. They don't see you as a threat. If they, they are not subduing you as a Bini man, Isha or whatsoever, they don't see you as a threat. The people they are seeing as a threat are the Igbos. And let me tell you one thing. You are the same as the Igbos. They say we are all Ayamiri. They call all of us Ayamiri. They gave us one name. That is the name they call of all of us. If you say you are from the south, the Aousa man will tell you that you are Ayamiri. You know what it means. What Ayamiri means. Let me put this Jaga Jaga. Today I am not going to play any other music than this Idris music. This is the only music I'm going to play. So when they say you are Yamiri, they are telling you that you are Igbo. If you like, make you, they reject something where you be. It's there inside you. You cannot reject it. It's inside you. That is exactly what you have. Okay, look at what happened. How can you call yourself? You say you are a Biafra. You come from the south. You have not been able to rule the country. You have no position. All key positions are given to the Aousas, the Fulanese. They, they, you, you, you decided to be voting people, people that are enslaving you, people that will create laws that, that could kill, kill you. The kind of laws they create for you, after you vote them, they will, they will start creating laws to kill you, laws to seize your, your freedom, laws to take everything away from you by force. You can no longer speak. You, you can no longer, you don't have the right to carry a laptop. Even when you are not Yahweh, Yahweh, they say you are Yahweh, Yahweh. These are the people you vote in. They have created laws. They have closed border without informing you. People are crying. Rise, don't dear, oh. Rise, don't dear. Yes, you are the one that voted this man in. He has no respect for you. He doesn't have respect for his people. A country where the, the, the rights of the citizen means nothing to the state, to the government. That is not a country. That country does not, does not deserve to exist. Nigeria should just collapse, and we all know that it's collapsing already. We are going to help Nigeria. We are going to help to hasten it so that it will collapse very fast. How can you call yourself a youth and you make yourself to be used as an electoral uh, thug? You go to election and you go and be, uh, and, and be used by these politicians whose their children study abroad. Politicians who don't care to fix the road for you. For over 59 years, they have been promising you the same thing. You still being foolish, believing that they are going to do it for you. They will never do it. I'm feeling very hot now. I must take, take, take off my jacket. My, my people, I'm sorry for those of you watching from the, from the zoo. I'm dressed like this because we are approaching winter. It's very cold here. Yeah. If you don't dress like this, that means you want to kill yourself. <laughs> the cold, eh? Don't go there. <laughs> Let me take off my jacket, then I will continue. Oh my God, the zoo must fall. Whether the zoo like it or not, the zoo must fall. Nigeria must be destroyed. Nigeria must be destroyed because I don't see any reason why a country that is that has no respect, no regard, no value for its citizens should continue to exist. Why should Nigeria be counted among a nation? Nigeria shouldn't be counted among a nation because Nigeria is, our leader said he called Nigeria the zoo. Nigeria is even worse than a zoo. Nigeria is a, is, is a typical forest. A typical for a forest where you go, if you go there, the white animals, they will tear you, tear you apart. In that white forest, the, 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 the white animals, like lions, this type of white animals, they will, they will just eat you, butcher you. This is how Nigeria is. The Fulanese are the white animals. They kill all the other animals, people like us. So we know where we belong. History told us that we were in the old, old eastern region with our brothers, the Igbos. We don't have, we don't have any, any, anything in common with the North. We have proved that several times, times without number to you. We, even if you don't want to believe that you are the same, you and the Igbos are the same, you, are the, uh, you and the Akwa Ibom are the same, you and the Robos are the same, you and the Edos are the same, if you, even if you don't want to believe that, the fact that you share a lot of things in common, religion, you share the same religion in common, you share the same culture, tradition in common, look at the way we dress, it's the same thing, there are a lot of words we use in common. 
So we don't share anything in common with the northerners. We don't share anything in common with them. Not at all. So I will go back to the election history, the election issue. You call yourself a youth. You, you went on queue. For you to even have your voter's card, you have to queue for maybe two hours. Some people said all the day. They spend one day to make a queue. Do you know how much people are being paid here per hour for them to work? And you go and spend one full day to, just to get a voter's card and at the end of it, you will not get it. The next day, you will come again. You will not get it under the rain. I saw everything. It's not like, it's not like I'm fabricating any story here. I saw the videos. After you manage to obtain your voter's card, you will still go and kill yourself. Either you get killed or you get uh, somebody come and uh, stab your body. I saw videos as well during the election. Some people died for, because of Buhari. Over 47 people, properties were destroyed. Properties that worth millions, billions were destroyed. They killed people. People slept in the forest because they were running for their lives. Oh, now because of what? Election of this, this damnable country. Election of this damnable country. Are you proud to carry these passports? Are you proud to carry it? God, I thank you that this passport makes, means nothing to me anymore. It means nothing to me anymore. This passport is a disgrace. It will bring shame to you. It will bring humiliation. It will bring public shame to you. It will give you a name that you do not bear. You do, you do not bear that name, but this passport will make you to bear the name by force. So you call yourself a youth. What's wrong with this music? I don't know. Keeps changing all the time. You said you are a youth. You don't, you don't use your brain. You go, to the, you go and vote. Before you go and vote, you look for somebody that will bribe you, that will give you money to, to go and disrupt election, to go and carry ballot buses, and you already know the risk in doing all those things. You don't really care. Do you care? If after 59 years, things, are, things still remain the same, don't you think it's high time you change? Don't you think it's high time to retrie retrieve your step back and go back to where you belong? And where you belong is Biafra. The country you are defending is not your country. Are you people seeing what is happening today in the country? You have voted the people who have blocked the borders. They have made life frustrated for you. You have voted a people who do not produce good health facilities for you. They do not do that because they know they can fly abroad. Their children can fly abroad to take treatments. They don't care about you. These people don't care about you. Now it's time for you to react. You have voted a people who don't care to fix the road for you. What is wrong with your head? Why can't you reason? Why can't you think as a youth that this thing has not been working? This thing has not been working. Let me change. If you are sick and doctor prescribe a drugs for you, and that drug you keep taking it, the drug doesn't work, the doctor will, pre will change the, the treatment for you. The doctor will find an alternative and give you another tre treatment that is more effective. Nigeria is not working. Nigeria cannot clear your sickness. Nigeria cannot clear your sickness. This green, green, white, green cannot cure your sickness. The proof is after 59 years, it cannot cure your sickness. The only thing that can cure your sickness is Biafra. If you are from the southeast, Biafra is the only thing that can cure your sickness. If you are from the southwest, Oduduwa is the only thing that can cure your sickness. Let's go back to where we were before the British people came. History told us that we were living in peace. We were living like brothers. We were living together in peace and harmony. Trade were going well. They were nothing like uh, kidnapping. They were nothing like uh, terrorism. They were nothing like walking in your farm and somebody will just come with cattles and tell you to destroy all your cassava. And when you tell the person, ah, why would you destroy all my crops? The next thing, they will carry dagger and they will dagger your stomach. They will kill you. They were nothing like that. It is the British people that brought up all these things that we are going through today. But as we, as we are not stupid, if you that is living in the zone, if you want the zone, you want to continue to be stupid, those of us who have traveled, we now know that we, we are not supposed to be living a life, the life we are living in the zoo. 
People, people deserve to live a better life. You that is watching me, you deserve to live a better life. So the only way for you to get that better life is to embrace Biafra. That is what you belong. Biafra is where you belong. You are a Biafran. The word Biafra means freedom. Total freedom. Destroy this passport. This passport is useless. This passport is fraudulent. Now let me tell you how I got this passport. For you to know that my hunger towards this passport, towards Nigeria, is something nobody can change. Nobody can change my mind. Nobody can tell me anything good about Nigeria that I will listen to that person. Nobody. Nobody can tell me the passports you see here. When I went to Nigeria 2016, I went, to, I wanted to make this passport and they told me, it's, uh, it's not it's not very easy to make passport etc they gave me all the procedures as usual the one i did before this one here in france i also know what i went through before you will get the zoo passport you will go through hair everything about the zoo is hair i'm telling you for those of you who live in diaspora you are a weakness you know what i'm talking about if i am lying tell me the embassies in your countries do you get nigeria passport easily of course no but when i wanted to get my eu passport i did not go through stress i did not go through any stress sometimes if i want my my e, for example i have my my birth certificate here i don't need the zoo birth certificate anymore if i want my a copy of my birth certificate i just go online i i just do the demand i ask them i don't need to pay for them to send it to me they will post it to me free of charge Everything about the zoo is useless, is, is confusion, is stressful. They will frustrate you. Why do you want to remain in a place where you don't have freedom? Why would you, would you remain in a country where your, your rights are being taken away from you by force? Why would you remain in a country where you cannot speak? You cannot speak. You cannot say, you cannot uh, express your own opinion. I'm trying to play this music again. The country is completely useless. There is nothing good about Nigeria. So when I traveled, I said, okay, let me make the passport because the stress making it in Paris is just too much. I said, somebody advised me, do your passport in Nigeria. I go, they easy for you. In fact, forget it. It's not easy. People are living in here. When I got to this embassy, this uh, Nigeria immigration office, I did it in Benin because I know somebody. I know immigration and immigration officer. Yeah, he's a very old, uh, uh, old time uh, friend. He's a, he's a, he's a coach. I know him. He's, he's, he used to be our coach those days when I was still playing football. So with him, it's very easy for me to get it. But is that, is that, is that the best way? Somebody that I've lived in Europe. I have lived in Europe. I know that everything is done according to procedures. You don't just come because you know the person that is working there. They will then they will attend to you and leave the other person. They don't do things like that here. If I am working in a place, for example, and my son came to buy something and someone else that I don't know entirely came, he came before my son. I must attend to that person before my son. I cannot say because he's my son. Come, I bet, come, come pass back here so that I go, set, I, go, I, go, I go serve you before I serve the other person. But that is what they do in the zoo. That is how I got this passport. Even if then, when I got the passport, I was, because the blood of the zoo was still inside me. I was feeling very poor. I was feeling very, ah, uh, after all, I don't pay. They don't, I don't give them money now. They don't do for me. People were dead there. If you see the crowd that day, people were there. Mothers, women, children, waiting for their passports. I asked somebody, the person tell me, say, this is not the third day when they come here. They never see us me. But I came. I paid money extra money i think it, it was almost uh, 65000 uh, naira that was this is how what i paid to get this passport you, i have to settle somebody i have to settle another person because the person that uh, directed me there he was not he was not in town that period so he had to call his colleague to do it this is the corruption we are talking about do you like this kind of life do you like this kind of life by court? All the time you have to by court to do things. All the time you have to give bribe to do things. When are you going to stop? Biafra is forbidding. Biafra forbids things like this. Biafra is going to fight against everything that the zoo is putting into practice. That is the country. Biafra is the contrary of zoo. Biafra is the contrary of Nigeria.
that is how I will just tell, define it for you to understand. Everything that Nigeria is practicing today, corruption, wickedness, killing, kidnapping, all sort of things, unemployment, bad road, no lack of ele no electricity, lack of um, uh, infrastructure, no infrastructure, no good schools, no health facilities. All these things will be fun. Uh, Biafra will provide all these things for you. Do you want freedom? Do you really want freedom? Why do you allow yourself to be used? Why do you allow yourself to be used? Why do you kill yourself so that just for one man to come and sit in power? So I am telling you today that this passport is going to be destroyed. First of all, I am going to destroy the first page. Do you know that when they gave me the passport after spending 65,000 naira just to get this rubbish, oh, this rubbish, this useless paper, when you be say. If you owe lamb, once you get passport, they look, you say, who be this? They don't come. They don't console people. They don't come. I said, they look you. Once you owe this passport. Since I stopped carrying this passport, since I stopped to the use them, eh? And they see difference. At least if I did, if I did for airports, they look me like human being, not be before. And for you to make this passport from the Zoo Embassy here, yeah, they go frustrate you. They will tell you that you, you don't have your right. I wanted to make it for my, my son. So they told me I don't have the right to pay for my son. Can you imagine that? I said, why? They said, because uh, my, 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 my credit card was carrying my, 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 son, my son's name, not my husband's name. My credit card was still bearing my husband's name then. I haven't changed it. My, my father's name, not my husband's name. So they said because my husband, my credit card is bearing my husband's name, my father's name, and my son's name is, uh, uh, my, is um, my husband's name, I, that they cannot uh, accept. I said, but I am married, and it shows, all the documents you asked me to provide shows that I am bearing the same name as my son. They said, no, because that name, that name that is in my payment card, my, my visa card, they cannot accept it. That they, they need a visa card that carries the name of that that boy is bearing. So after much discussion, they now told me, Madam, if you really know you want this passport, all you should do is to come to our office. When I got there, do you know that it was a, a white man? I don't know if he's really a white or maybe one of these uh, uh, Somalia or this this kind of, uh, I mean, not Somalia, this um, um, uh, Bulgaria, these people, this uh, European, uh, some of these European people that they, they are very, very poor. They are not really doing well, you know. They brought, they said that that is the man. They gave me the man number. I called the man and the man came. The man name and my son's name, has no. they have no pay. They refused me to pay for my son. But that man came and that man was the one that paid for my son a passport to, to be processed. I now ask myself, I say, wow, isn't this corruption in total? This is corruption. I cannot pay for my son, but someone else can pay for my son. So you can see what they are doing. They have given that man some money. They gave that man the money that I paid to that man. They will share it with the man. That is what they do. If you don't pay, they're not going to send you a message. Whether you travel three hours or whether you travel eight hours. Some people travel eight hours to, to Paris to make their passport. And when they get there, sometimes they will not attend to you. They will talk to you anyhow. But do you know that the last time I went to, 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 to Nigeria, I decided to use visa. And when you go to their, past, their office to seek for visa, they will respect you. They will attend to you very fast. They're not going to stress you. They, they, because they they like to respect foreigners than their own people. What kind of country is that? What kind of country is that? What kind of country is that? Is that a country? I don't see. I don't see any. any, any I don't see what's what the, the use of this passport. I don't see it anymore. So why should I be holding it? What do I need it for? What do I need it for? Because if I have to go and renew this passport, I will still go through the same procedures. I will still have to bribe somebody. I will still have to bribe an immigration officer. I will still have to pay somebody to help me so that um, the person can help me to process it. I will bribe. If I don't bribe, I will stay there. As I'm talking to you, I have a, a, a brother that also went through the same process. Bribing, bribing, bribing for you to process a document for them. They will bribe. Since I am a Biafran, 
I don't want to go through corruption. I don't want to, I don't want to continue in the corrupt system. I don't want to go through this process. I am a Biafran. I don't want to bribe anybody to process document for me. That is why I said I'm going to destroy this document because I know what Bia, what IPOB stands for. I, IPOB stands for total justice. IPOB stands for uh, 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 justice, tolerance. You must have the freedom to speak. Our leader is very clear. Whenever this is talking, he knows exactly what he's talking. He's not just talking for talking sake. That is what IPOB stands for. So as far as I am a Biafra and IPOB, I am destroying these passports. Nigeria is not a country. Nigeria is a cheat country. Cheat O. The, the person that is ruling the country is a lifeless president. Is a president that has the only aim that he has, the only aim that he has in his heart is how to Islamize Nigeria. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about you. Stop voting for them. Stop killing yourself for them. Embrace Biafra if you are from the south. Embrace Biafra if you are from the southeast. Don't allow anyone to deceive you. There is nothing good about the zoo. There is nothing good about the zoo. Don't allow anyone to deceive you. Biafra is the only hope. Biafra is something that will make that will that will give your children, your future generations, that will give them hope in life. It is only Biafra. It is only Biafra. They have deceived us for so long. I am an robo Biafra. Don't think that I am an Igbo. All those things that you people are saying that Biafra is for only Igbo. It is a lie. I have discovered the truth. And the truth shall set me free. That is why it's setting me free today. I am free from the bondage of the zoo. I am, I am calling on you to set yourself free. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. The zoo is a fraud. And you will continue to be enslaved. You will continue to be a slave. They take their children abroad. They take their children abroad to study very well. So that when their children, when they are dead, when they are no longer in government, their children will continue to enslave your children, your generation. That is how it is. Nothing is going to change in the zoo. Nothing is going to change in the zoo. I promise you, Biafra is your hope. Biafra is your hope. Embrace Biafra. Look, destroy. Destroy. I don't care about it anymore. I have my EU passport. Anywhere I want to travel to. If I want to go to America today, I don't think I need a visa even. I don't think I need a visa and I will be respected in the airport. By the time Biafra passport will come, back, come out, I am going to make my Biafra passport. I am going to make it goodbye, the zoo passport. If I want to visit the zoo, I am going to use my EU passport and I will seek for visa if I have to visit my family at all. Goodbye to the zoo. The zoo, I say goodbye to you. The zoo is a place where dead bodies live. They keep people, they bury people in mass burial, in mass grave. Before They don't even allow the families to see them. Goodbye to you, Buwari. Goodbye to you, Jubri. I destroy you today. I destroy you today because your aim, your agenda is to destroy, destroy the people. Your agenda is to destroy the people. Some people would think maybe it's, a, it's an old passport. It's the biometry. Uh, this is the, biome this the bi biometry passport. Uh. Look at it. So I am destroying it. 2016, this passport was made. So let me tell you. After when I went, I went with a visa. Then when I got there, I went to make this passport that I have just destroyed. I, I went to make it. I don't even know the use of this passport. So let me tell you, embrace IPOB. Look for any uh, IPOB family that is close to you. Join IPOB. Mazuna Nikanu said it. He said he doesn't care about petrol. He doesn't care about gas. If that, these are the things you want, you can take them and drink them. Drink and make it for your belly. You are Usafulani. You know you don't love us. You don't love Biafrans. You don't love the Southerners. All you want is the petrol, is the gas. Make una carry and una set us free. We want to go. We want our freedom. We want to live like normal people. We want to live like normal human beings. We know how things are done in the West. Before I was coming, I don't live in a big city, for those of you who don't know. I live in a small town. But as the winter is coming, the, uh, 
as I was going out and I saw that they, are, they have blocked some part of the road. They are renovating. They are renovating. Re I mean, cr uh, removing the old concrete, putting a new concrete, so that the road will be will be uh, usable for the, by the the, the the people, the habitants of this town. The government cares about our security here. They care about our security. They know that children, they pass that road. When they go to school, the bus take them from that way. They don't want accident to happen to us. That is why they fix everything. They make sure they fix everything. Do you think the Dizzo care about that? Do you think those of you who are here to insult me, I don't really care. I am telling you, you will continue to enslave, to be enslaved. As far as you don't want to see the light, you see the light, you don't want to embrace it. Somebody has brought the light to you. You don't want to embrace it. It happens during the time of Jesus. Jesus came. He brought the light to the people. But the blind Pharisees, they refused to see the light. They refused to embrace it. The few people that embrace the light, they are the, the 12 disciples of Jesus. So today, Mazun Nandikanu is the man that God has sent to come and show us the light. Thank God I am one of those. I am privileged to see the light. I am. I, I thank God for being one of those who understands very well what he's fighting for. I thank God that I came across this particular video of Mazun Nandikanu, the video that converted me, the video that captured my heart, the video that made me understand that he is really fighting for his people, that Biafra is the only hope. I bless God that that very day, that particular day that I went on YouTube and I just made that video. And that video, well, that interview was done by Sahara reporters. When I saw the video, I said, wow, so this is what this man is doing. And people keep saying all sorts of things. And I have been one of them because I don't take, I didn't take my time to study him, to follow him, to do research. Because people say things, I just follow them. I say, God, this is where I belong. This is what this man, what this man is doing is exactly what I want. Mazil Nandikanu is type. I don't see, there is not uh, another Mazil Nandikanu in, that, in, in, in this world. He's second, he's second no day. He's second no day. He know what he, he people need. He know what he, he, he people need. He said something in that video. He said our children deserve a better life. They deserve to live like the children in the western world. Bowari, Bowari can never use that kind of language. Bowari will tell you the opposite, which, which is, my children deserve to live, live like life like the, those in the Western world. And that is exactly what is happening. Can't you see? I call on you today. You Urobo. You Edo. You Ishakiri. You Ijo. I call on you today. You Igbo. You, those of you who are Igbos. Who are still talking about Igbo presidency? I am telling you, you are deceiving yourself. If after 59 years, nothing has been done. If after 59 years, you still don't have good roads, no electricity, you still buy generator, you still stand and drive your car, to, you stay in the queue before you can buy fuel. There is care for city. You still cannot take your children to hospital, good hospital and get treated. Treatments. Your children finish from school. They don't have employment. You still, your children, they still need to bribe in the school before they can pass exam. They need to pay lecturers. Lecturers will ask the guests to sleep with them before they can pass them. <coughs> Excuse me. If after 59 years, all these things are still happening, you sleep in darkness. I tell you, there is no hope in Nigeria. There is no hope. We are going to help the zoo to 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 hasten the, the 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 downfall of the zoo. We will help them. To so you, 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 the youths. I want to talk to you now. Those of you who came out recently, despite what happened in the presidential election. You people are so ignorant. You people are so daft. You people are so coward. You still came out to vote in Bayasa State, to vote in Kogi State. And what happened? Some of you were shot dead. Some of you were destroyed. Tear gas, you are running everywhere. You people don't learn a lesson. Are you, are you people programmed to remain enslaved forever? Is that how God programmed you? God did not program you that way. It is your, it is your, your, your foolishness that is putting you where you are today.
because there are other other youths like you in Biafra land who have stood their ground, who have discovered that yes, this is the right way. They have embraced the truth, but you have refused to embrace the truth because your mind is sealed like that of the mind of Pharaoh. You pr you believe that uh, twenty thousand, thirty thousand. It's your only way of survival. That is why you continue to patronize the politicians. They continue to use you to do atrocities. They continue to use you to commit crime in that country. I call on you today. I am telling you today, change your ways. Change your ways. No amount of election that can set you free. No amount of uh, uh, bribery. No amount of thuggery that can help change your situation. The only thing that can change your situation is Biafra. Those of you who were killed recently in that election, where are you today? Who will come after you? Nobody. Look at Showere. Showere is fighting. He's fighting for one Nigeria. What happened to Showere? Showere is nowhere to be found. The country is, is fighting to defend. They have kidnapping. And nobody, nobody can come out to speak for him. You voted for the people. Who are giving you all these problems. You voted for the people who took your right from you. You voted for the people who created laws. Without asking the, the, the voice of the people to know if the people agree or not. You voted for them. Now, what they are doing. They first of all came up with the idea of identify yourself or else. They will start kidnapping people, killing people. putting. They will shoot, take you, they will shoot you and put you in a, in a grave. Nobody will see that you are dead. Your family will start looking for you that somebody is missing in the family. They don't know that the, the military, they have killed you. Police. They don't know they have killed you. You voted for a people who have now brought, up, brought out a bill to hang you for speaking for your fundamental rights. These are the people you voted for. You collected 20,000 to sell your conscience. You collected 50,000 to sell your conscience. Nigeria youth, I am ashamed of you. You are a disgrace. You have to change your ways. You have to change your ways. You are the people that is giving the, the, the privilege, the, 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 the rights to these politicians to continue to use you. Because the, by the time you say no, I don't want to belong to this country anymore. By the time you, you stand your ground, you say no. I don't belong to Nigeria. Nigeria is not working. Let me go. Let me join Biafra. Let me join Oduduwa. Or oh, those of you who are still good because there are some good Aousas. We see them. They speak out. They speak the truth. You say, I want to join Ariwa. All of us will not be here talking anymore. Everybody going to live, live in peace. They go. Everybody going to live in peace. They go. As far as I'm concerned, I know what my leader is fighting for. I don't know about your Dudu was. I don't know about the Ari was. But as far as I'm concerned, the Biafran leader, Mazil Nandi Kanu, I know what he is fighting for. I know what he is fighting for. The fight that he is fighting is a fight for good. It's a fight for you and I to have a better life. It's a fight for you and I. Those of you traveling, those of us living in diaspora, you want to go home. You will travel freely. You don't need an escort. You don't need police. You don't need military. You don't need to take to to be afraid of bad road accidents. You have to travel. You drive. You reach there if you want to rent a car. You rent a car. Or if you have a car already, you just drive through the, the and try, try show your children the beautiful the, the landscape of uh, of your country of Biafra land. But today you can't do that if you as a Nigerian you cannot. You cannot. I know a lot of people are afraid to travel to Nigeria. A lot of them are afraid. Some of them are afraid of which which will kill them because uh, their family is so poor. Why, why won't you be afraid of which when, when you or two of you are the only people that are, are doing well in the family? The others are racial, they are poor, they depend on you. If the country is functioning, everybody will be doing well. Just like in Europe, nobody cares whether you drive lessons. Nobody cares whether, you, as far as everybody can afford clothes, everybody can eat, everybody can have the same health facilities, everybody have the right to do the same thing. Everybody goes to the same to school. We have the same right here. What it won't make you jealous somebody. But in Nigeria, it's not the same. That is why people are afraid to travel home. Some people are afraid. They are afraid of their own family, their friends. If I go, they see me, they go jealous me. So they are afraid. How long you won't continue to live this kind of life? How long? You voted for these people today. They have taken your rights from you. Can you do you this thing that I am saying now? If I happen to be in that zone, they will try to locate me. 
Ah, she tear, she tear our passports. This is hate speech. We'll go and look for her. We'll go and hang her. That is what they, the, the bill that they, they, are, they are about to sign. That is what it stands for, if you do not know. You know, if we get right to talk about APC or PDP, those two sick political parties, you don't have right to talk about them. Some of you now they come, now they come look me. I know. I know. Some of you are here right now looking at me. You are the evil people destroying the, destroying that country. We don't leave her for, for now. Make una enjoy her. Without Biafra, we go see her una go survive. As selfish as you people are, as egoist as you people are, you are not the tired to the to the loot. You are not the tired to the oppressed people. You are not the tired to the kill. You are not the tired to the to the to the to the enslaved people. You are not the tired. Which kind of mind you not get? Which kind of mind? What is in your heart? Is it the same the same uh, uh, blood and water that flows in my body that flows in your body? How wicked are you that you go to a farm? The farm you see an old woman farming in her farm. You carry your your cow, your cattle, destroy her farm. And by the time she tell you that why should you do such a thing, the next thing you will do you will just slaughter her. What is flowing in your body? Is it water and blood? I don't know. We don't need people like that. We don't want to share a country with people like that. They are just too evil for us. We are Biafrans. We are the opposite of the Northerners. We are in the South. We are not Muslims. Muslims, there are things you, you can accept. The thing that Biafrans can never accept is Islam. Get that in your head. Biafrans can never accept Islam. We prefer to die than for us to accept Islam. I prefer to die than for me to become a Muslim. I will never accept it. Never. So this is what you should understand, Bowari. You can never succeed. Biafrans have their own religion. They are, they are Buddhists. They are Judaism. They are Christians. They are traditionalists. But Islam, no. No, no. The only person that brought Islam to, to, to Biafra land is Asari Dokumbo. Apart from him, no other person has brought Islam to Biafra land. All the Muslims you see in Biafra land, they are, they are Fulanis. They are Aousas that came to reside there. You will never see a true born of Biafra that will embrace Islam. It is like forbidden thing for us. We don't tally. We don't tally at all in any way. So what makes you think that you want to force your, your religion on us? It, it won't work. It won't work. So my people, <coughs> those of you, the youths, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> those of you, the youths, who got yourself killed recently during the election, I pity you now. I pity your family because they refuse to, to educate you people <coughs> about the the risk of violence. They refuse to educate you people <coughs> that it is wrong to take bribing. They refuse to educate you people that <coughs> the politicians, they meant no good for you. That is why you people fall victims every time. You have fall victim again. I, I learned that three people died in Bayasa states. I don't know how many, but that is the video I saw. I saw somebody, they carried somebody already dead. If they are trying to look for a, an hospital or something, a first aid for him. The person was already dead. That is the road, the route that the person choose. Any route that you choose, that is how you, that is the route that you will follow. If you choose the good route, you will follow a good route. It will be good for you. If you choose the bad route, it will be bad for you. I have decided. I have decided. Yes, this is the face of Biafra. I have seen that Biafra is the only hope for us. Biafra is the only hope. If you like, you keep trying, making all efforts, making all efforts to make sure that uh, you want to talk about one Nigeria. You want to make people feel as if, yes, you, you don't like separation. What is good about keeping something together, something that doesn't work? What is good about keeping it together? What is good about it? It's like a marriage that doesn't work. You, you are forcing yourself. Uh, don't, don't, don't separate. Please don't divorce your wife. Don't dis divorce your husband. And you know fully well that these couples, do, they do not match. These couples could end up killing themselves. You know, but you are there giving bad advice because you are evil. 
the same thing these people who are who are agitating for one nigeria they have evil minds they know nigeria will not work but they are just doing this they are just doing it to behave as if they are they are they are real they have love they don't have love the people who have godly hearts they are the people who are seeking for separation because they know that by separating by separating the country they are saving lives from now to 2023 do you know how many people would die do you know how many people if 2019 election was that brutal people died roughly 50 people died tell me how many people would die in 2023 but by the grace of god <clears throat> biafra is on his way biafra will come biafra will come we know they wait for 2023 we know they wait for him biafra is now and not tomorrow is now now that is where what we what we want we want biafra now and by the grace of chuko kika abiyama the by the grace of organodoro organ israel the god of israel biafra has come to stay under the leadership of mazel nandikanu biafra has come to stay thank you very much my people thank you very much my people this is the flag of biafra <coughs> excuse me i just destroyed the zoo passports and i'm raising uh, raising the, the flag of biafra i'm raising it up i'm raising it up because this is how it is this is the reality while the zoo is being destroyed biafra will stand up the zoo is destroyed biafra will stand up I don't care what you are saying. Some of you who are there saying all sort of things about our leader. Go to hell with your hate. Your hate will destroy you just like the way the zoo is being destroyed on a daily basis. I know there are a lot of people out there like me who are destroying the zoo. We are going to help to fasten the destruction of the zoo. We will help in any way. If they think they can intimidate people back home, let them come to the Europe and intimidate us. You people don't know what is happening in the world. That is why you still put submit yourself as Togri. Come here, come and see what our other Africa countries are doing to their leaders who come here. There was one that they they give they gave him the beat the, the beating of his life in Paris. They is a governor. They beat him a lot. They turn his clothes. That is what a, a democratic country is: freedom, freedom of speech. My beloved Biafra. This is the flag of Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra, my people. I will soon go. I want to add the broadcast. I don't want to talk more than this. Oh, hey, Biafra. Land of the rising sun. Oh, most hey, Biafra. Thank you very much, my people. We must continue. So I have to leave you now. Share this video. Share this video. Share it wide so that it will go everywhere. Share it. Those people as, who are seeking for one Nigeria, I want to let them know that they don't have hope. They have to go and embrace the, the different republic that they belong to. They should go and embrace it. Oh, hey, Biafra. Thank you very much. I love all of you. I love all of you, my IPOB people. Wonderful people, formidable people. I love you. May, may the God Almighty, the Chuko Kika Biama, may God bless your, your struggle. Everything that you are doing, I can see your zeal. Every one of us are working tirelessly. Even if you are not making broadcasts. Even if you are not an uh, 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 official uh, staff of uh, uh, IPOB. The fact that you share videos. The fact that you contribute. You are working as well. We are all working. We are all working. Like today, I am not doing the job of Mazil Nandikanu. I am not doing the job of Mazil Shemefo. This is my own part. This is my own way of supporting the struggle. So you must play a role. So I thank every one of you. May God bless you. The zoo must be destroyed. The zoo must sink. The zoo must sink. Just like Babylon that fell. Babylon fell and was not risen at all. Babylon falling to rise no more. The zoo, Nigeria falling to rise no more. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. IPOB one family. IPOB one big family. Thank you very much. Abiento, I love you. Ciao. <laughs> Share this video, please. <laughs>